Alrighty lads, we're here, last game of the Easy season wins. with Fletcher. Yeah. Last time we played this mob, we got pumped by 80. Yeah. It was only about four weeks ago, and that was the last oh. match day vlog we had as well, so. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, so we're, are, at, we are at home for our last game of the season. It's, gonna be, it's gonna be a tough one, mate. It's, it's gonna be, be tough. a tough one, but we know what we did we wrong them. last time, so we uh, should be able to, to improve. We've just rocked up, I think. Yeah. The girls are still on, and then there's They're one more game. They're looking to us as well. We put one of their players in the hospital, so... Did we? I don't think Hunter did. Oh, no. Fuck oh, no. Anyway, and also, <laughs> in the intro of last uh, game day vlog for this team, I said that it's going to be an easy win, and I also did say that they're the dirtiest mob out here. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to cop it today. <laughs> I'm going to cop it today. Anyway, hopefully we put up a good fight. Let's go, Tigers. G'day, guys. Welcome back to another match day vlog today. It is our last game of the season, meaning obviously last match day vlog of the year until the season next year. It's the last round and obviously, well, we've had a pretty disappointing season, so we will not be competing in this year's final series. So this is our last game of the home and away season. We had a few boys play in some milestone games, Jetty and Charlie in, I think, both their 50th and I think Charlie maybe 100 uh, Jed 50th and then BJ also 150 games which is a great effort for a junior player 150 games that is um look that takes some dedication so we're back at home for today and obviously last match day vlog we did we versed this team Riddles Creek we lost by 80 points the final scores were 19 to 99 and I was so frustrated in that match day vlog so we're back at home to try and get some revenge against a team who we just got absolutely hammered by only three weeks ago playing the same team three weeks in between each other which is a bit of I think a bit of a muck up with the fixture but nonetheless we're here trying to Get some revenge on the team who absolutely smoked us last time. And we've got nothing to play for. So we're just throwing everything on the line and just saying pretty much absolutely fuck it. Let's see what we can do today. Let's just, you know, let's just enjoy it. Let's really just enjoy it. It's our last game of the season. Let's just, let's just play a YOLO game. Let's just do this. Just have a bit of fun. Charlie there on the boundary slips over a little bit. Still able to compose. Hits up Sammy Collard there in the pocket. How good is that? Samuel in the collar. Samuel Collard in the pocket. And he, he goes back for the set shot as well. I just don't think he had the distance from there. He decided to go the drop punt as well. But Baz right there on the line. I think this is only like a minute or two into the game as well. So this is for a really fast start. And, well, last time we played Riddles, I think we kicked one in the first. And then we didn't kick any for like the next couple of quarters. So... For a fast start, would be really handy in bad slots at home. So we've kicked the first inside a couple of minutes and we have hit the front. So first goal of the game, first score of the game, and we hit the front, which is really important to get a quick start, especially against a side who we know can really dominate us in the contest, as we saw a few weeks ago. And here's Sonny for an opportunity as well from a set shot. He's obviously new in this season. And I'm not going to lie, I wasn't too confident in him kicking this from the back line. And then I saw him saw him go straight through the middle. I was like, good on you, Sonny. He played an absolute clinic today. So just wait for uh, some of the Sonny highlights today because he put on a really good clinic. Number seven there, he's my man. And I bloody let him out the back there. I just absolutely no pressure on him. And I will really take the blame for that one because, uh, yeah, we're on a bit of a roll. We scored the first two goals and then... Just conceded that one there. I, I took all the blame for it. That was my responsibility. It was my play. I just didn't put enough pressure on it. I was a bit bit angry after that one, conceding one like so early into the game. Wasn't too happy about that one. Millsy down the line. Um, yeah, Sonny just loses control of the ball and goes over the boundary line for a throw-in. Here we are in the Riddles 50. Gets it from the ruck. Dribble kick through, and I just rushed that one over. He goes for deliberate, and there's no deliberate in our league, so I'm all good. And then, yeah, so this is, uh, I think, my second kick out of the day. I think second disposal of the day. I think midway through the first term, and set it up to Millsy down there, who is such a strong mark by hands in the sky. Like, he is probably one of the most reliable marks in the team. He wasn't, like, too great, actually, um at the start of the season but he's really improved his form with his marking like he wouldn't have it would sort of drop just like the sitters but he's been really good lately Sonny just steals that from that bloke in the middle which is so funny he just grabs it he just launches it over sort of slips over as he kicks but still able to hit up Sip Thorpe Jackson Sip Thorpe uh, obviously new player as well in the side this year 
Been a bit up and down sip, but he uh, somehow caresses that one through, which was really, really good. So, uh, yeah, that, that, that was a really good start. We've put on an absolute clinic to start off with, and I've got the ball here in possession, and it comes to quarter time. We didn't actually film anything on the break, so the quarter time siren and the quarter time graphics are just at the end of the first term into the second. So quarter time, we're up by two points, 18 to 16. Really positive signs, like especially after, like, we said third uh, three weeks ago when we played this team and well we were in the contest at quarter time and then second quarter just where we really dropped off it was a minute into the second and they just kicked bags after bags and then I was started off the second quarter on the bench and it's the exact same bloke who started the momentum streak oh he missed that one but that bloke he got underway first minute of the second term last time and he kicked a goal and that really just swung their momentum their way Speaking of swinging, that was a beautiful set shot there, right to left action. I'm pretty sure I just came on the field there. So I'm back on now. I just started about six, first six minutes of the second term on the bench. Have a bit of a breather, get the rotations going. So Riddle's out the back line, centre down long, and Sonny sets himself as an option. BJ, always good crumbing there. Also good up in the sky, and Tyler... Gets the handball over to Samuel. Samuel thought he was going to kick a goal. Assist to Nicky. Nicky out the sky. He's gone the absolute Cristiano Ronaldo. And he's kicked it. Left foot out of the midair. Great assist from Sonny there just to set it up for him. Puts it really just out in front of him. And Nicky finishes off with the great footwork. Fletcher around the body. Short little kick. Hunter taps it forward. Riddles tries to get it out of there. Fletcher probably could have got a little bit better of an effort there. But it seems to be little bit injured. Uh, Hagen, great effort there. Second effort to wrap him up. And then I drop an easy mark there, not going to lie. Delay the handball a little bit to Baz because I knew the bloke in the helmet there was going to uh, jump for it. So I delayed it a little bit for the right time. And then Baz, unfortunately, doesn't really take good use of the pill. Goes out in the full. But Baz out here in the back line again. He gets it. He gets wrapped up there. That's a beautiful tackle from number 30. And... Nearly half time, so we're just sort of trying to hold on, not concede any more goals before half time because we don't want to be conceding like within the last two minutes of a quarter because it's just cheap, cheap goals. So obviously, I said we're not filming any half time breaks. So half time, it is 33 to 23. We're up by 10 points. So, so positive, like at half time. It's so good, especially considering like obviously last time we played this mob, we were just not a chance and we were just getting dominated everywhere in the contest and we're up by 10 points at half time. Such a good effort. Like I said, we're just out there. We're just playing our footy. We're just enjoying it. We've got nothing to win. So I've got nothing to lose, should I say. We've got nothing to lose. So we just went for it. And we just absolutely yolloed it. And this is me, I think, from an out in the full kick. So I took the kick here. Look, I, I was trying to get a bit of distance, but I didn't really um, get on it. I'm going to be honest. The wind was sort of like pushing into me. So I sort of just tried to go the distance, but it went straight up in the sky, which wasn't good. And... That Riddles bloke actually kicks it on the full, which was a bit of a, a bit of a strange kick. Everyone was like, what the hell just happened there? And Hunter is saying, just slow it down, just slow it down. And then he sees Jetty free in the middle, the 50 gamer, who, um, well, definitely gets a good feature towards the end of the video. Just just wait and see for that. And then Rowan gets a high tackle there on that guy. Um, yeah, number 10 goes inside 50 for Riddles. A few fly, goes out the back to Luke. This is good from Luke. He just couldn't get the boot to ball. The ball, the boot, should I say. And Hunter gets wrapped up by a couple there. Be a stoppage. And I'm taking another kick in. Sort of just taking my time. Sort of just winding down the clock a little bit. Because obviously we've got the lead. So sort of just a bit of time wasting, if I'm going to be honest. And then I chip this one short to Beige in the pocket, who was free. And he's a really good user of the footy as well. So it was a bit hard not to go to him. It is 150th as well, Beige. So fluoro, orange boots. That's his 150th. Wasn't the greatest kick to Hunter. However, certainly could have um, had a mark there, Hunter. And then he launches it from 50. My man gets in front of me once again. Oh, just, Jesus. If he kicked that goal, I would have been so angry. This one actually went out. Uh, went over the line for a point. Didn't call it. And then I give the ball to Moose to take this kick out. And he's absolutely shanked it off the side of the boot. Sort of could have, or definitely could have, ended up in Hagen's hands, number four there. Then Rules go inside 50 and 26 marks. He's a big boy, 26, and he's very accurate set shot kick. So, um, yeah, obviously that's the guy who, who uh, the whole Riddles team were looking for when they're going inside 50. 
And I just said to Moose, don't worry, mate, just keep your head high because, like, those always happens. Like, we're going to make mistakes, so that's always going to happen. Just stay up, stay positive, and they've kicked that goal. So, many that's a very, very close contest now here at home. Like, really good game, really good game. It's just, like, one of those exciting local games that you sort of want to just really be involved in. Riddles get a snap around the body, goes to the top of the square. Moose just spoils it through, and I think I will collect another kick out here. And I see Jetty there, free actually. There's no one on him. There's about three of us down this side. Everyone else is set up on the other side. Jed takes it and then goes slow because there's not really any options really to move down anymore because they've all flushed over. But he sees BJ in the middle, which is a great hit as well. And then where are we here? I'm pretty sure this was a 50 metre actually. To riddles so they have the ball here and then look at these free numbers this was a bit disappointing to see just like three free numbers open it was a really good kick as well couple there i reckon moose or millsy probably could have touched that just before it went over the line however uh, a bit of controversy on the goal line but it was all clear in the end moose probably could have got a little touch to it but that's all right comes to three quarter time and we've had a pretty disappointing quarter. We've conceded a few and haven't even kicked a snag ourselves. So we're down by 10 points, meaning that's going to be a really, really tough contest to get back into this game. As you can see, we've got one more quarter of footy to go for this season. 100%. We just said, boys, there's 20 minutes left in the season. Just go 100%. Put your body at every contest. Just put your body on the line. Let's just do this. YOLO. There's nothing to lose. Um, yeah, but like being down by 10 points is actually a pretty good, uh, pretty big margin in uh, a game like this where it's so so low scoring, like every point, every goal counts. And I set it up to Millsy there. I'm not going to lie. It's certainly a bit of a hospital ball. He was free running open and then that bloke creeped up behind him. And yeah, look, probably set him up for a bit of an accident there. I'll, I'll take the blame for it. But he was able to uh, get up and just walk it off. And yeah, I see out the rest of the game, which is really good. Fletcher goes inside <laughs> to uh, Hagen, but Hayden can't collect. Gives it off to Jetty. Jetty inside 50. Who's the runners there? We've got out the back. Luke goes off the deck and it goes across the face. Is missed an absolute sitter, which would have put us back in it much sooner than um, what does occur here in the end. But um, yeah, Riddles go down the line here. They've got a few options down there. Jetty just needs to put on that pressure. Can't get a pass. Good tackle from Baz there. BJ, usually pretty clean. Surprised he didn't pick that up. Goes to ground. Then Sonny gets it out and just hacks it out of there. He was playing such a good game. Sonny was yesterday. Then Riddles go back inside 50. However, noisy's there on the line just to mark it. Gives it off to Jed. Jed can get and go. He's got a paddock ahead of him and he's got options on that far side for the switch. Hits up Fletcher. Fletcher drops a mark. Goes to ground, unfortunately, but gives the handballs off. Gives the handball off to Murph. Murph to Moose. Moose, great option to Sammy Collard. And Sammy Collard, great mark. And then, oh, tries to go over the big man with the handball, which doesn't really quite work. And then Riddles go back down. So it's really just a back and forth game of footy. I'm pretty sure Riddles are up by just under a goal at this stage as well. So every goal counts. Every point counts. Every score is so valuable to both sides. And it's just like a, such a up and like up and down game. It's so back and forth. Moose. Goes inside, goes to Jed. Jed goes to Thumping Torp, who we kicked about three of that game. Three, like, thumping 55-metre Torps. And Tyler around the body gives it off to the running Nick. Nick goes bang. However, hooks it right. Jeez, that would have been such a good goal to kick. We're just sort of in this last quarter. Like, everyone's just so stressed out within the first 10 to 15 minutes. There's so many points scored. Just everyone trying to get on the board, really, kick, kick the match winner. But it's like such a close game. Every point counts, so we're just smacking them at goals and so much pressure and stress. Like most of them are just going through the points. So Beige is there around the contest. However, the Riddles Riddles gets it out, goes to the 50 line. Matty did really well to hold up his player here. His player goes to ground, holds him up there. And then Riddles go inside 50. Who's there? Oh, I shepherded this guy out the way. He definitely would have got there. I shepherded him and I said, Moose, that's yours, that's yours, that's yours. It's actually a good passage of play from us down back. And then that one, just a little little bit of a wobbler inside 50. Keep in mind that Riddles are just up by a few points. And Millsy tries to hit BJ up with a dribble kick. But it goes out of bounds. So, yeah. Jesus Christ. I think it's, I think it's actually two goals the margin, as you saw there in the scoreboard. I think they're up by about nine points, Riddles Creek. So, two goals is needed for us to hit the front. So, Riddles goes, tries to get it out of there. But Jed from the back line... 
marks it, and he goes back straight away. I saw him go back straight away. I'm like, geez, he is confident. The back liner, usually down back with me. He's playing centre half back. However, he just pushed up to be involved in the play here to put us within three points from 45 out. Clears it with absolute ease. Gets over the line. And he is absolutely up and about for that kick. Roosts it from 45 metres out. The drop punt from Jetty as well. Couldn't be any more clutch. So now it is within a goal of the margin. Jed just putting those second efforts on the line, just diving, 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 trying to put on the pressure, trying to get in possession of the ball. So it's a four-point margin here at home. I think it's a two-point margin, should I say. It was three points, and then they scored a point. So it's a two-point margin here at home. Two-point margin. We get the free kick. I'm pretty sure... We just try and hold it up, look for the option. Jed goes bang down the line. Try to find Murph. Murph can't trap. However, it was a free kick to Murph as well. It was blocked out of it, I think, or a push. I'm not entirely sure. But Murph just sets it up to the square. He goes long. He goes deep. Tries to find the big option. Tyler Beach, anyone out the back, and then gets rushed through for a point. BJ so close to get a boot on that one. Could have sealed it for us there and then. Then it's out the back for riddles again. Seriously, they had a few opportunities there where I was a bit nervous as a defender. Probably could have been a free kick holding the man there for that guy in the helmet, number eight. However, they get it out of there. However, Beige so clean. The pressure just front on at the footy. He's the first one there at the contest. Tyler Walker takes a mark and then T holds it up. Sees an option he likes. Goes inside 50. Goes deep as well. Tries to find the option in Baz. However, it rolls all the way through and just hits the post. So it's a, it's a two-point game. It is a two-point game. Jetty from the boundary to put us in front. Jed has put us in front with a snap from the boundary with only under three minutes to go. Puts us up by four points. The centre-half back who has kicked the last two goals of the game, who has pushed up into the back line for this finale of the game. He said, you know what? Fuck it. We're going up forward. We're seeing what we can produce. He's put us up by four points with under three minutes to go. Riddles go inside 50. They get the snap out here. I knew this one was going out the back, so I just sat back. And thankfully, it ran through me. Unfortunately, didn't get the final uh, siren on camera because the camera died. However, Jed put us up by four with a snap from the boundary with under three minutes to go. To win the game. You cannot believe it. He has clutched up after being defeated oh, no. from this team by 80 points last time we played him. We've now got him done at home. Jetty Prince, Sib, how good is that? Let's go, boys. How fucking good Let's is go, this? Boys. Oh. Let's go, yeah. boys. Hey, Chrissy. Hey, Chrissy. Hey, Chrissy. Chrissy. Hey, 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 about an hour and a half, an hour and 45, maybe even close to two hours since the game has finished. And well, that is just an extraordinary way to end off, well, a pretty disappointing season. Um, but last time we played this mob, obviously I did a match day vlog on it. We got pumped by 80 points at their home deck. So to come out and beat them 
and somehow like overcome every obstacle today. So proud of the boys. So proud of finishing our season like that. Like seriously, look at the match day vlog from a few weeks ago when we, when we versed Riddles Creek last time. And we got absolutely smoked. Like ever since that second quarter, they just piled goals on us. We only scored 19 points and we got thumped by 80. So considering we, we were able to put up what we put up today, really, really proud of the boys. And obviously that's our last game of the season. So it is now, it's now off season. No more games to be played. No more trainings to go to, like the season's done. So you must be thinking, what am I doing at the moment? Going down to the gym for about half an hour just to, uh, you know, maybe tick the legs over and get them moving after a game of footy. Uh, probably roll out and just a bit of recovery, hop on the bike and everything. Um, got a two litre Gatorade as well to rehydrate myself after everything I lost during the game. Anyway, obviously that means now that the match day vlogs have come to an end for season 2023. And uh, yeah, to be honest, we didn't do many. However, obviously last year we only did the one. So next year I'm gonna try and do as much as possible, like every week, try and pump them out. So um, yeah, really keen to just really have this time to reflect, focus on myself now from here. It's the 31st of July. Think about it, the season starts back in like March. So I've got like six, seven months of just hard work, just dedication, just like, so much time to work on myself and improve myself for the better for the start of next year. I could be a completely different per person in six to seven months. So look, the boys put up such a good effort today. Jetty Pretzel with the match winner from the boundary snap. How good is that to finish off the season? He obviously had, well, a pro probably a game that he would want to forget last time we played Riddles Creek. So for him to uh, come out and do that is just insane. He literally just kept on like saying to me how he hasn't watched the game day vlog yet because he doesn't want to re relive the moment and relive how poorly we played last time we uh, played him. So I'm pretty sure Jetty, he will be definitely watching this one. <laughs> He's definitely watching right through to the end. So Jetty, you're watching this. You are the king. You are literally the reason we won today. And you, I just like literally cannot appreciate you enough you put on an absolute clinic today for your 50th game uh congrats to bj as well 150 i'm pretty sure that's all we had today 50 50 games for jed and he won the game for us and 150 games for bj which is a brilliant effort so we're in the gym gonna stay here for half an hour let's go over the legs lads thank you so much for watching this match day vlog it has been so good to produce these for you and i'm so keen to get into season 2024 which will still be in the same league, under 17, same shit, different year. So keen for that to happen. However, now I've got about six months to focus on myself, improve myself for the better. Cannot wait to just take this time to reflect and get even better for next year.